trying again. One more time. Okay, testing again here. I couldn't really get in another another aspect. It's going to be HD or 69. I couldn't really get get it to be any different. But um, seems like the rest is working at least, which is good. Mm. Gonna at least sketch a little just to see here how it's working. So okay. Working fairly well. I think, I hope. This is also gonna just be like a quick test, but I've tested a few things now and uh, uh, it's nice to kind of narrow it down to what's working and what's not working. So. Yeah, you hear some kids in the background. Sorry for that. But I hope you can hear me a bit more than the kids in the background. Okay. Well, let's. I'm going to show you something fun. A fun app, very underestimated, and I, I haven't used it in a long time. But this little uh, app you see top right, not all the way to the right, not test flight, but the one called Silugen. I know I have shouted about it before, but it's been a long time. But uh, if you if you want to have some ideas, or if you're empty of idea and you just want something. This is a very fun app for tails. Uh, you can generate different sort of shapes and silhouettes just to get you started with something, you know, just to make those brain synapses flow a bit more. You also have palettes. You can generate palettes here. And then just screen grab and just bring it into Procreate, for example. But uh, you also have tails where you can add uh, different amount of tails or characters or adjectives, actions, environments, that sort of thing. So you get these funny sentences like car preparing for the scorpion below the bridge. You know, it's a, uh, it's impossible not to get some sort of pictures in your brain, 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 when you read that. And down on the right, you see generate, you can just tap that, you know, a gazillion times. And we see at the lower left, trillions of combinations. So you're not going to get the same sentence twice. Airplane clinging to the rat below the bathhouse. This is just fun, you know, and you don't need to follow the whole sentence, but maybe just for a character. Like journalist scolding the pilot above the platform <laughs> yeah lots of crazy stuff but then you have a journalist or a pilot you know that could be cool um, something cool to draw destroyer scanting the quake by the pakoda yeah i'm gonna find some words i have no clue what it is but uh 
manager measuring the men on the highway. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so it could, could be just a good way to, to just uh, uh, spark the brain a bit. Sometimes it's kind of bath or clutching the dictaphone over the space station. It's, it's kind of hard to kind of bring a character out of that, but uh, ambulance looking at the garlic over the bench. <laughs> yeah, fun stuff. I'm going to go with pilot, I think, just for the hell, just to have, you know, some sort of spark for the brain. Can hear just fine, cool. No, I'm not from the, I'm just reading the chat now. Uh, I'm doing this via the Mac this time. I was kind of fed up trying to get the Pro, iPad Pro working directly with the stream, uh, what was it called again? Stream, uh, stream Labs. I couldn't get it to work. Um, it did work on my mini, but not on the pro. So for some reason, but that's how it is sometimes. So now, but the cool thing is now I could uh, connect with my good microphone. So I have a Ubermic M audio Ubermic. So I hope the sound is at least better than uh, than it used to be. Okay. So I don't have too much time today, but it's nice to at least get one little sketch going. So having the word pilot in mind We'll see what kind of pilot we can come up with. So I'm just doodling that, like trying to find kind of like a head, nice head shape. And we're going to use some sort of helmet here. I haven't really decided what kind of pilot it is going to be. If it's a classic pilot or more like a sci-fi thing. But playing with shapes and I sometimes like to just use like a broader brush to kind of get it darker around. So you, you used uh, not, not just a the dark as line, but also as background to kind of lock that off to build the shape with darkening around, you know. Reminds me a bit of the, like the Judge Dredd helmet here. I kind of wish they made like a sequel to the last Dredd movie. I think it's a cool character.
can see here. We're only seeing his mouth and nose, so it's it's kind of the mouth is gonna tell a lot of the expression since we don't get his eyes or maybe we do we'll see but if it's just have like a calm expressionless mouth it's really nothing going on but if it's like a bit of an open mouth like uh, then that can tell something about the situation or what he's thinking I'm just going to move the whole thing a little, scale it up. It's also nice to play with uh, a liquify, just to try, you know. Sometimes I end up pushing stuff around and then just undoing that, just canceling the liquify part but this is such a good way to rattle the cage a little just to test out something quickly just to see like should that nose be you know further in front can that be kind of more fun or you know you can really be playful with this part and also the adjusting here I think it's such a fantastic and powerful tool. Yeah, maybe, maybe something like that. So I'm mainly going to use two brushes here today. Which is the round brush and this Rull Jit A. Jit A. Jit A. Trying to add some details to this helmet. Maybe something has happened. As I see a little blood, maybe, on this character. Okay, just reading the chat now. Thanks, thanks for the nice comments. Um, hello, good stream. Can you please say hello in Russian? Well, yeah, some people think I'm Russian. I'm Norwegian, but I have a Russian name, so yeah. 
Interesting to see how flat you start. Yeah, no way. Sometimes really like to just have to block out the silhouette part, and not really worry about line art at all. Just bypass that and see where it takes me. Because shapes, it's kind of like the the this app here, which I showed you, Silugan, which is a great app. You know, with the silhouettes here, you can just generate a gazillion of shapes and shapes really triggers the brain right and you can uh, you know add all kinds of inputs here even color type mono so it's a bit the same when you're sketching like the silhouette is such it tri really triggers the brain a clear silhouette so what we are reading first So sometimes I like to start with that. And keep it small, you know, thumbnail, thumbnail size. In the beginning, until you feel like you can't really go much further with this scale level, and then you can start zooming in. Here is the palette. It's so nice to be able to move it to the side now to have it here on the screen. I'm gonna do some curves adjustment here, get a bit more contrast. Make it a bit darker to also be able to play with the shadow. Yeah, one layer. Um, one layer uh, at this point. Um, for now, you know, I'm just doodling, just sketching. Not too precious about it, at least not yet. There's nothing wrong to start to go into new layers either. I'm gonna give this. Have you ever tried this in Procreate? That you have this quick, quick shape. That you draw a line like this, for example, and then it becomes this quick shape, and then you can edit that shape. That is really awesome. Or just a straight line, you know. Then you can make it go from. A to B, edit shape and move that around. That is pretty darn good. So for curves, you know, you want the perfect curve, maybe go up here. I'm just gonna 
test that out on the helmet. Because when you're sketching loosely, if you have something which is kind of like mechanical or something which is factory made, like this helmet, you can kind of lose a bit of that authenticity if all the lines are kind of crooked and sketchy. So it's nice to give some super clear, crisp lines. some shadow from that is it called visir in english you get a bit of that nose back Yeah, I've been testing this uh, streaming last couple of days and yesterday I managed to get my iPad Pro straight on to YouTube eventually. But today I couldn't, it just didn't work. But I tried with the Mini, that worked, or I could get the iPad Pro to work, but it was only with the camera and that I need the screen to show my screen if it should be any helpful. Some light on the underside of that nose. Some, some tubes and stuff that always works really well. Cords, tubes, wires. Hello, Max. My youngest son just came home. Yeah, I, let me see, just gonna read some of the chats here again. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mauro, for putting in some links and stuff. Um, I got course both on, at Schoolism and at Gumroad. Uh, Thank you for putting in the link. Nice. Let's try to get some more of that reflective stuff on the helmet.
Let me show you a little trick. Let's say that I want this helmet to be to have some re reflectivity all around. Just gonna nail sort of just the shape of it here. Then make a new layer and then I'm gonna use a brush here just to get some dots and stuff. Maybe we can just use this one. Something like that. And then we erase with the same brush. I just want to have it like a few dots. So it looks kind of like this now. And then let's uh, push this into add mode. Blur it a little. Maybe duplicate it. Blur it a little more. Let's see where this goes. And then we I'm gonna combine that. Squeeze these two layers together. And I'm gonna use these as reflections on the helmet. So you can either use liquefy or warp. So you can go into advanced mesh and then kind of make that follow the shape. So that's a neat little trick. So just make that outer Transform warp uh, gizmo follow your shape. Then you can use these middle ones to kind of move your reflection around like that. So it's not really like the ones down here, maybe I'm a little misplaced, but. We can try to push them a bit up here. But it you can really push really perspective. Or you can also do it with straight lines, you know. If you're standing under like a, a light sources that are these long straight lines, for example. And now we can, uh, as you see here, it kind of gives that nice little detail. I'm just going to erase a little here and there so it's not all over the place, but I kind of like it on the visor on the lower right there now, but maybe not on his face here. So kind of give it a bit more life to it. Okay, let's add some color to this dude. One way is to put a layer behind now, because I, if I adjust the background color, you see how much is just transparent. So that could be a good start to just have uh, just a basic color behind. So I just fill this layer with the color. And just add some. So I'm just painting on this background layer here now. And I kind of want to have, if I switch to uh, airbrush, Gonna have a couple of different color themes here. If 
but I don't want it to be like I was thinking not to go to like a typical warm cold palette this time it's very easy to go in this uh, direction but to kind of have his skin tones a bit more yellow and then the light is a bit more like a green cyan sort of light to more darker blue you can also add that to the to the background here just to get a bit more sort of feeling of space but you see this layer now the sort of the main layer with the the sketch in it now we can also go in and because we have like gray like under his nose and and stuff um, so let's go in and adjust the curves on that so i'm going into the red channel so if you go up now you're going to get red but if you go down you're going to get cyan just going to see you can also add like if i go up with the darkest value i push that into red and then if i go down with a brighter value you can sort of get this pretty cool yeah you can have a very playful palette but i'm just gonna push this down for now but also get some of that yellow in and the blue channel push a bl some blue up and i can also like alpha lock this it's hard to see it on the thumbnail but it is alpha locked and uh, yeah but it's so much in it here <laughs> let me go to my overlay it's the same as the airbrush but it's in overlay mode alpha locked hmm. sort of don't feel like it just giving a little of that glow around to kind of give a bit more atmosphere to the scene here We don't really know where he is. Is he in space or underwater? Or so we also have this glow here. So so some on the nose. I'm gonna erase that. But maybe to give that a nice color, so it's kind of reflecting something of what he's seeing. Sometimes I just push it, so now it's just yellow. But then I open up the hue, saturation, brightness, because um, I gave it a color. And now I can just drag this hue wheel to kind of find a bit more interesting color, saturate it. Maybe some of that purple is kind of cool. But then I also want to bring some of that back also on his helmet. Just gonna check if this overlay brush is really set to overlay because it's yeah, it is you got it here at the bottom on the middle there blend mode overlay 
just felt a bit weird when I used it. That's kind of nice with the sort of burned out blue over. Kind of get the feeling he's stepped out of his uh, capsule or space thing and he just takes his first sort of look around where he landed. Just gonna read a little on the um, managing time for art study. It's a good question. Nah, I don't really have an efficient way to manage time for art study to sort of like self develop. It's always there. Uh, in the back of my mind to to learn new stuff and to kind of keep on sketching drawing so it's I don't know you kind of have to see, look at it as uh, going to the gym right if you if you don't like it's it's like workout your body needs workout every second day or so that's ideal um, and the same to your um, your art skills so if you can set off a the same amount of time you would to the gym that would that's a good way to start i think and even more maybe if you but at least don't don't spend one whole Sunday doing it and then you wait another week. I would rather do it 20 minutes every day or so. Same goes for the gym, actually. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Uh, it's been a good little test. Just going to give this a little, a little signature. It's important to sign your stuff. Like this. And then I usually squeeze that little like that. Yeah, put it in a dark place here. But thank you guys for watching uh, this little test. Um, uh, yeah, it was fun. It's going to be more of this in the future. So now I feel like I at least found one way to do this without tech crap falling apart around me. Um, so that's good. So more of this and don't forget Lightbox online event at uh, the weekend 11th to the 13th of September. So very soon. Less than a month. Hawaii. Okay, cool. Take care and keep on.